वेलकम टू यंग एशिया टेलीविजन प्रेजेंटेड बाय द नेशनल साइंस फाउंडेशन ऑफ श्रीलंका Whether we realize it or not, we've become increasingly dependent on modern conveniences to fulfill our day-to-day requirements at home, at the workplace and practically wherever we may go. More often than not, we're able to get things done with minimal physical activity involved. For instance, we walk less because we travel by public transport or in our own vehicles. Lifts and escalators make things even more easier for us. And when we're at our workplace, we're able to get most of our tasks done without moving too far away from our computers. So, while our minds are busily at work, this modern lifestyle is quietly taking its toll on our bodies as we often ignore the need to exercise in a regular and proper manner. Today's program will take a look at how the modern lifestyles we lead can have an impact on our health and well-being. by the study of human evolution that the modern human or homo sapiens sapiens is an active species modern humans have adapted well to different environments and made rapid advancements over the centuries the modern man still has the genes that the man had when he was living in the jungles as hunters and gatherers those days the man did not have food like we have today he did not have three main meals and three snacks in between but he had a voracious appetite to eat whatever he gets uh, at one time to sustain life for even several days or weeks and the metabolism also nicely geared to store the excess food as fat to be used when the energy is needed for even several days the genes that were nicely selected from the evolution were called thrifty genes we still have thrifty genes but the lifestyle has vastly changed today we have constant feasting so the genes that were there for a fasting and feasting lifestyle the thrifty genes are now not suited for a constant feasting as a result now we get obese and all the other diseases related to obesity and a sedentary lifestyle so the root cause of all lifestyle related illnesses lies in this basic problem unhealthy lifestyles give rise to numerous health problems that begin from an early age children too are increasingly falling victim to lifestyle related health conditions due to the competitive and often stressful lives they lead from an early age Many children, especially those in urban areas, do not have freedom nor space to experience the tranquility of a natural environment. The lack of space, congestion, and pressure exerted by parents to excel in studies is keeping many children away from play activities. Unhealthy eating habits have compounded this situation further. leading to conditions such as obesity among children which is a matter of serious concern caught up in daily routines as well as job and economic pressures many adults don't pay much attention to maintaining their health in the long run 
rushing off to work or school in the morning and returning home in the evening, many spend their leisure time before the television or a computer, ignoring the fact that their bodies need exercise to remain healthy. Regardless of age, bad eating habits are making people unhealthy and prone to illnesses. Resorting to freely available fast foods, which are high in calories, oil and salt content and contain no real nutritional value, has today become a common and acceptable practice among many households across the country. Frequent consumption of alcohol and smoking are some other key factors which are preventing our population from leading healthy lives. अपने गेदरिंग कैमरे आप में थाम में नतीक बेलावल दिए ना ये बेलावट अपि गोड़ा के लावट अडवाल वालिंग आहार गन कर देला ही ना आई थिंक ये गोड़ा बेलावट तेल सही ता आहार गन आई थिंक ये वक्त आला अपि आप वो अविला सीटेड वाड़ ही ना आई थिंक वे प्लस चेंड अपने व्यायाम करे ना आडू दिस मॉडर्न लाइफ but rather something we have embraced, not realizing the impact it can have on all aspects of our lives, from our health to our relationships with one another. Consumerism and market forces have had a role to play in this new trend that is making our population unhealthy and vulnerable to often avoidable illnesses. Let's take a look at some of the negative health outcomes related to our lifestyles. Many of the illnesses plaguing our society today are attributed to obesity. What we mean by obesity is excess accumulation of fat in our body leading to excess weight. There are several methods by which we measure obesity. The main method is what is called the body mass index. Most of us think that we are not an obese nation or obese group of people. This is mainly because we see a lot of very obese people in the western countries in television and films. But this is completely wrong. There is enough research that has shown that a western person who is having a BMI of 30 is equal to some of us, one of us having a BMI of 25. All the bad effects of obesity that a western person gets at a BMI of 30 we will get at a BMI of 25. BMI value is calculated by dividing the body mass by the square of a person's height. If your BMI value is between 18 and 22.9, your body mass is in the normal range. If it is between 23 and 24.9, you are overweight. If your BMI value is 25 or above, the body mass is excessively high and indicates that you are suffering from obesity. Studies indicate that in Sri Lanka, one in every four adult persons is overweight and one in every 10 adult persons is suffering from obesity. The prevalence of obesity and associated health risks in the country today is comparable to levels found in the West. Being overweight or obese can lead to life-threatening illnesses and ultimately an untimely death. Lead a healthy life and avoid health problems such as diabetes, high blood pressure, fatty liver, asthma, wheeze, cancer, kidney disease, depression, joint pain, back pain, infertility, sleep-related breathing disorders, and various other diseases. When someone remains obese for a long period, there are many bad health effects. Diabetes is one of such. And the other problem is, when someone remains fat, the blood pressure increases and you get high blood pressure and the obesity leads to many abnormalities in our blood cholesterol. These bad cholesterol leads to deposition of such cholesterol in the blood vessels and leads to heart attack, stroke, problems in our 
legs and the periphery. When there is diabetes, high blood pressure together, it damages our kidneys. In addition, there is this new problem due to obesity, which is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In addition, people with obesity or excess fat has been shown to get a lot of cancers. Things like cervical cancer, cancer in the womb, and many cancers in our gastrointestinal tract such as the cancer in the stomach, colon, and also cancers in the prostate, breast, all these have been shown to be clearly linked to obesity. In addition to these, we know that people when they become obese, get their joints such as the knee joints and the back damaged. And we today see many such people with uh, joint problems due to obesity. In addition, people with obesity get other problems like the breathing difficulties during sleep, which is also linked to daytime sleepiness, lot of road traffic accidents, reducing the memory faster than others. So obesity is not a simple thing to ignore. It's a very serious problem. Being overweight or obese makes us vulnerable to numerous illnesses. The state of increased blood sugar beyond the specified level is defined as diabetes, which is considered to be a lifelong chronic disease. There are several types of diabetes. The type 1 diabetes mainly occurs in children and this is mainly due to the destruction of our insulin producing cells in the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. This is not common and it affects about 5% of our population. The common type of diabetes is called the type 2 diabetes and in fact this has become a huge epidemic in the world as well as in our country. The main reason for type 2 diabetes is there is insulin resistance in the body and this occurs mainly due to excess fat accumulation and sedentary lifestyle. But there is some genetic basis. The people with type 2 diabetes does not produce enough insulin to overcome the insulin resistance and as a result they develop diabetes. Although I said that type 2 diabetes has a genetic basis, this was not seen when people were having a different lifestyle. So although we say that this is having a genetic basis, it's mainly environmentally triggered. That is the environment has caused the expression of the bad effects of our genes. All the glucose is an essential compound in our body. When it is in excess, it becomes toxic to the cells, particularly cells in our eyes, the retina, and the glomerulus in the kidney, the functional unit, and the nerve cells get damaged. As a result, they get kidney disease, eye disease, blindness, and nerve failure. In addition, there's studies shown that when there's excess glucose, it leads to increased fat deposition in our blood vessels, leading to premature heart attacks, stroke, and the disease of blood vessels in the legs, leading to amputation. So diabetes affects many organs and we call this a multi-system disease. The more we avoid unhealthy lifestyles, the possibility of prevention and control of diabetes increases. High blood pressure is one of the illnesses you are likely to be diagnosed with following the increasing body weight and obesity associated with bad lifestyles. High blood pressure is also known as hypertension. Blood pressure is the amount of force exerted against the walls of the arteries as blood flows through them. If a person has high blood pressure, 
It means that the walls of the arteries are receiving too much pressure repeatedly. There are many reasons for high blood pressure or hypertension. There's some genetic basis that it runs in families. In addition, overweight or obesity is one of the main reasons nowadays. When somebody is overweight or obese, there is higher need for the heart to pump more blood at a high pressure to maintain blood circulation. This leads to high blood pressure. High blood pressure leads to health complications such as cardiac, stroke and kidney diseases. How can we prevent high blood pressure? We can prevent high blood pressure by several ways. One is to prevent or lose weight and remain non-obese. The other method is to reduce salt intake. Salt increases blood pressure and also we should give up smoking, should not consume alcohol and also we need to take a healthy diet that will reduce blood pressure. Studies have shown that taking more green leafy vegetables and fruits also reduce blood pressure and also we should reduce fatty foods. Having a relaxed mind also helps to reduce blood pressure. You can have this by having adequate sleep of about at least six hours per day and also avoiding too much mental stress. Unhealthy lifestyles can cause numerous diseases such as cardiovascular disease. Let's examine how this occurs. Cardiovascular disease occurs when the blood flow to the heart, brain or body is reduced or blocked by a blood clot or building of fatty deposits inside an artery. This might result in coronary heart disease, stroke, aortic disease, and peripheral arterial disease. The major artery that carries the blood supply to the heart is known as the coronary artery. The building up of fatty deposits on the walls of the arteries makes the arteries narrower and restricts the flow of blood to the heart. This causes acute chest pain. When blood flow is completely stopped, we call it heart failure. Stroke occurs when the blood supply to the brain is entirely blocked or by the bursting of a blood vessel in the brain, which results in full or partial death of the brain. Paralyzed limbs, sensory deficits, language and speech difficulties are some of the complications associated with stroke, which can lead to an untimely death. Peripheral arterial disease occurs when there is a blockage in the arteries in a limb. The main symptom of this disease is the painful aching in leg muscles triggered by walking. Sometimes it may be a painful cramping in hip, thigh and calf muscles. Fatty liver is another often encountered disease associated with unhealthy lifestyles. Fatty liver is defined as the building up of fatty deposits within the liver cells. This is a common health issue among those who are overweight and obese. Non-alcoholic fatty liver has become a new problem. What happens is when there is excess triglycerides in the body, they get deposited amongst the liver cells. And this leads to other reactions like inflammatory reaction and this leads to a condition similar to what you get when people take too much alcohol. Uh, it damages the liver cells and ultimately you can end up even with cirrhosis. Triglyceride is a type of lipid formed by fatty acids and glycerol. This is found in fat cells, liver and blood. The increased triglyceride levels lead to blood and liver complications. Environmental pollution is on the rise and not just affecting those who are responsible for it but every single being on the planet. Genetic predisposition and environmental factors cause asthma and wheeze which are lifelong chronic diseases. The symptoms of these are coughing, wheezing and breathlessness. These diseases are commonly caused due to non-hereditary factors such as chemical fumes, atmospheric pollution and cigarette smoking. While genes can have a part to play in it, 
You may or may not be aware that more than half of cancers are caused by unhealthy lifestyle factors, such as smoking, lack of exercise, eating too much salt, drinking too much, and being overweight. Just think about it. Cancer is a condition where cells in a specific part of the body grow and reproduce uncontrollably. The cancerous cells invade and destroy surrounding tissue and organs. Around 200 different types of cancers have been identified so far. Until recently, people thought that cancer cannot be prevented. But the research carried out during the last few decades has clearly shown that most cancers are preventable. There are only a handful of conditions that increases cancer. Cigarette smoking is associated with many cancers. So is excess alcohol. And also, very recently, there's enough evidence to show that obesity is also an important cause of cancer. Excess fat leads to increased risk of breast cancer, cancer in the stomach, colon, prostate, and many other organs. The bad food habits, such as taking excess of fat-rich, unrefined food, instead of taking increased amounts of green leafy vegetables, and fruits leads to problems like constipation in our intestines. This increases the risk of colonic cancer. Therefore, it is very clear that obesity and other bad life habits are associated with this dreaded problem of cancer which kills many people today. So, how can we avoid these illnesses? I think by now it's clear to you that being healthy has a lot to do with the kind of lifestyle you lead. Research and everyday examples around us have shown us that being active is healthy, while physical inactivity is not. A change of food habits is equally important to enjoy a healthy life. In the modern society, many people, more than about 50% of people die from only a handful of conditions. They are heart attacks, stroke, diabetes, chronic lung diseases, and cancers. And we can find causes, about only five causes that are responsible for these dreaded diseases. They are all related to our lifestyle. Bad food habits, sedentary lifestyle, or not having adequate exercise, which leads to obesity is one of them. And cigarette smoking, taking excess amounts of alcohol and taking too much salt leads to other problems. So it is very clear that most of other killers in the modern society are preventable and is associated with our lifestyle. In addition, we need to have a big attitudinal change. Because a lot of people think that when you are a little plumpy or obese, you look better and is a sign of prosperity. It is completely wrong. We need to abandon these myths. So, with a better lifestyle and attitude change, we can lead very healthy lifestyle and lead longer life. The essentials for a healthy lifestyle Avoid excessive consumption of food composed of fat, salt and sugar. Maintain a healthy body mass index. Live an active life. Refrain from alcoholism and smoking. And lead a stress-free lifestyle. We hope that this program has been an informational one for you and made you realize how important it is to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Well, that's all for this episode of Mini Mandala. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.